everyone, and welcome to All Games No Masters, the GMless game, uh, the GMless program where we play independent games that don't require GMs. As a part of, you want to know what one thing I forgot to prep right before we started this stream? Ha! Uh, our usual prompter that tells me all the fun, you know, important things I need to say. So uh, we're 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 getting off to a great start, and uh, we 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 lost we lost a Randy. So everybody, it's been a day. It's it's just been a whole day. Uh, uh, Dom, do you mind dropping a link for me to the? Oh, yeah, already done. He's so anticipatory and great. What would we do without Nom? Absolutely nothing. Uh, nothing um, we get done. But thank you for bearing with me. Why? Everybody vamp. <laughs> Everybody vamp. You can't tell I'm doing a soft shoe underneath I'll tell my you belt. For some reason, it's. Being really weird and not opening the dock for no reason I can Mando. understand. All right. What? If that's the case, I can help. I can jump in here. I got it. Hold on. Well, okay. I'll tell Maybe everybody. Okay. Today, Here we go. we're going to play okay. uh, Death Takes a Holiday. And we are indeed going to play Death Takes a Holiday. <laughs> Thank you, which is which is Max's pick for us today. But All Games and Masters is the GMless branch of the RPG Exploration Sci uh, Society with Saving Throws Show. Uh, so welcome to the Society Explorers. Uh, we have uh, a goal uh, to hopefully unlock a ninth episode of All Games No Masters that you can help us hit by sending us your donations, bits, tips, uh, gift subs. There are all different kinds of ways you can possibly unlock this special ninth episode. One of those ways is by donating. Uh, we are an independent uh, gaming channel, which means that we rely on your bits and your tips and your gift subs in order to continue uh, to, as uh, my other GM, Sima, would like to say, feed the kobolds, uh, which, of which we have a lot. They're always running around, always chewing on the wires unless we feed them actual food, which we can't do unless we get donations. Um, but if you are interested in unlocking that extra ninth episode, this is the halfway mark of this season. Just so you know, there's only four episodes left after this, so your chances are running out. Uh, we have a $1,000 goal, or you can gift uh, out uh, 400 subs over the course of the next few episodes. And I believe that one of those things can be achieved because I believe in all of you in chat. Um, we also will accept uh, your, well, I think I think message in a bottle is appropriate for this, this uh, game as well, because uh, you're going to learn a little bit more about where we are and what we're up to. Uh, but I think message in a bottle is totally right. So if you'd like to send us a message in a bottle, that is either $15, 1500 bits or five gift subs uh, in order to send us your message. Um, also, please check out Die Hard Dice, where you can save 10% by using the code saving throw at checkout. Use command exclamation point DH dice for uh, in chat for links and info. And if you like what you see, please consider backing the Saving Throw Show Patreon so we can continue to build the channel. Things are about to get wild in here. Uh, and now is absolutely the perfect time to support us. Uh, it's $5 a month, which is, you know, the price of a cup of coffee, pretty much, unless you're having to get it sent to you via DoorDash or Uber Eats or all those things. And then it's like, 13, but we won't talk about that. Um, uh, please help us uh, uh, give our content the room it needs to fry. Thanks. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to today's facilitator, Max Isaacson. Max. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me and maybe you can see me. Um, this is this is that thing where everyone wants to be known, but nobody wants to be seen, right? Uh, uh, my internet is really having a, a day today, so bear with me. Today, we are playing the very exciting and very deadly Death Takes a Holiday. Um, the brief idea around this game is that the... Um, unknowable and wonderful entity that we know as the Grim Reaper or death uh, has decided to take a holiday. Um, and we, the Boxmuller clan, are going to fill in. Um, there is a lovely little uh, blurb at the beginning of the book that I'd like to read a little bit of. It's a little long and I don't want to devour your time, but we should do a little bit of it. <clears throat> death takes a holiday. A lighthearted narrative fantasy concerning the grimmest topics for two or more participants. 
by Nicholas Wedig, who from Teapot Dome Games Ltd. Limited. Uh, so thank you, Nicholas. Excellent game. Very excited to play. Here we go. The firm of Box Miller and Sons has never been accurately named. The deceased proprietor, Hopewell Boxmuller, had no sons. He simply liked the sound of the name. More pleased by this linguistic trick than by his solitary nature. Hopefully, dubbed, uh, Hopewell dubbed his business venture in a manner befitting his childless state. Thus it was that when the old eccentric died, the property passed into the joint custody of a variety of great nieces, second cousins, and his half-sister's stepchildren. The inheritance laws of Perdido Island, which is where we will be playing our game, are notoriously Byzantine, so such displays of inheritance law are by no means unusual. What was noted, uh, noteworthy were the experiences of these relatives as they voyaged to inspect their newfound estates on Perdido Island following great uncle Hopewell's demise. Um, there is quite a lot more to the beginning of this story, but uh, I'm just going to give you the Cliff's Notes version. We have been given a wonderful inheritance, the Box Muller clan. We have come to Perdido Island in order to claim said inheritance. As a clan, we have gotten on a boat because it's an island. And on this boat, we have all drowned because the boat crashed. Tragedy has befallen the Box Muller clan once again. Death seems to surround us. When we die, the Grim Reaper comes and goes to take all our souls away. And at some moment, which we don't have a lot of clarity on, has decided, I need a vacation. And you all, box mullers, will be death in my stead. And so he brings us back to life, sends us on to Perdido Island, and we will become the Grim Reapers of Perdido Island. That's all we know for story. Everything else we got to make up on our own. Here's how the game plays. It will play out in scenes. Each scene will be constructed by the four of us who are playing. There are three segments of scene. The opening, the twist, and death. The opening obviously always has to happen. Scene's got to start. Somebody will figure that out. The twist. Scenes get boring. Let's throw some crazy shit in there, man. Let's go nuts. Death. Not necessary, but... We're going to kill a lot of people today, so it's going to happen. Yeah. People are going to go. <laughs> Here's how scenes work in this game. And pretty much all decisions work in this game. Everything kind of goes down like this. The four of us have printed out the lovely Death Takes a Holiday tarot deck. There are many cards. They all have names and little things on them, like many hands to work together or to combine forces. Here, you can check that out. That's a pretty vague description. That doesn't mean a lot of direct things. So let's say I'm opening a scene, and I draw many hands. I then say to two of my players, uh, let's say Aki and Randy. Sorry, Amanda. Um, I've drawn many hands. I will have them both pitch me an idea for what that means to open the scene. Then I will pick the one I like the best. I play favorites. Ha ha ha. We will go on and play out the scene. At some point, whoever has the twist token will draw a card and say, I'd like to do a twist. And then they will pass the twist on. They will draw another card, pick two people. Those people will pitch their ideas. We'll twist the scene up and move on. Same for death, etc., etc. The only other piece of this story that we need to know in order to play is every once in a while, death sends us a missive from wherever he's vacationing, right? He's over on the Bahamas. And he'll send us a letter or a whatever. It's usually a letter, I think. And we'll get it in some weird way. And it will say some cryptic thing that tells us that there's somebody we need to go reap their soul. It won't tell us, hey, go reap the soul of uh, Jim Bibblesnops down at 345 Toodle Boops Lane. It'll say some weird cryptic shit that we'll make up. And we have to go figure it out. And hopefully we figure it out right and don't kill the wrong people. Or hopefully we kill somebody at all. Maybe we flub it. Honestly, looking at the three of my friends here, they're like, mets a mets at this. Um, I, on the other hand, obviously I'm a consummate professional. No, this is really a fucking nightmare. Um, so we're going to figure it out. We're going to make up obstacles for ourselves. 
We're going to try and solve those problems. We're going to kill a lot of people, and it's going to be a wacky time. So uh, let's start the scene. How about we hand out, well, first of all, who would like to introduce themselves? Um, Aki, you've done a wonderful job of making this show a reality. Why don't you start? Sure. sure. Hi, Hi, everybody. I, I am Stella Smaller. I have a, I've been, been around, around for a little, little while. while. I know what's what, but for the most part, I'm a, I'm a bit on the outside, I would say, of the main uh, clutch. But uh, somebody said inheritance, and I said, how fast can how fast can I get so that's why I'm so here. that's why I mean I'm here I mean that's a very very that's a that's a very very inheritance can mean any number inheritance can mean any I just want to see things. exactly what those I just want to see are. exactly what those things are uh that was excellent thank you um Amanda why don't you introduce yourself next what you want me to do what? Oh, okay. Um, uh, so I am Athena Boxmuller. I, some people like to call me a trophy wife, but I think that's really rude because Basil and I are in love, okay? Um, so haters like just leave and don't be near me because you smell. Um, and I'm 25 and yeah, that's pretty much, I think, all there is to me, you know? Like, it's not complicated. I'm done now. Go. Um, Randy, tell us, <laughs> tell us about yourself. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you may know me as Chase Boxmuller, your favorite radio host. Or realistically, you probably don't. Uh, I was right in the prime of my life, getting ready to to have a career that expanded all across the country. And I get a note that says my long lost third cousin died and that I was getting some inheritance. And so I, I hopped on the boat and then I die. And now I'm stuck here. But I'm excited to uh, do this for death because who knows what death will do for me? Maybe I'll get another chance, right? And then, ladies and gentlemen, we can play the races. What, am I not invited? Mm, not quite. <laughs> I already am and what very about pleased you, with the weird dynamics of this family. I will be playing Basil Boxmuller, uh, whose voice I have no idea how it goes. Let's figure that one out as we play. Um, maybe it'll be like, Whoa, Basil Boxmuller. <laughs> oh. uh, no. and I am a yachting enthusiast. I am a Dude, Max, Max, powerful Max Isaacson and giving the web captioner trouble. That's not exactly. Oh God, yeah, probably. Oh, no. All right. I'll be I'm Basil Boxmuller and I am a yachting enthusiast. And I am a powerful and wealthy man. And my beautiful and doting wife, Athena, and I have decided to come and see what we have inherited from great uncle Hopewell. Um that seems like a reasonable enough voice for the captioner. Uh, all right. Well, important things. We have done a little bit of work uh, before this episode because we didn't want to, uh, again, gobble up all of your time. So we have decided on what it is that we have inherited from Uncle Hopewell, but we were going to play this out for you. So there's going to be a couple of moments where we're going to run with some stuff and we might not consult our deck but understand that that is uh, because we love you and we care about your time and emotions. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of just handing out. He, he just said a uh, lot of words. That I'm... Randy? Mm. I'll keep them very small, my darling. Chase? Why don't you take the opening token 
-hmm. And uh, Stell, you seem like the twisty sort. That seems appropriate. And Athena, my dear, deadly as ever. How about you take the death token? Really? Oh my gosh, that and sounds so, so fun. Okay. All right. So? So, we have we all just shipwrecked on the island. Um, and, yep. <sighs> and we, we're... <coughs> Oh, we're, I'm me. I'm, uh, are you sure that we're back? Are we back, really? I mean, Pope, well. seemed fairly fleshy to me. <laughs> okay, okay. I think... We need to decide something. So I picked a card that you may not be able to see, but it says Death of Innocence. Ooh, it's a guy falling, uh, like trying to tightrope. And it says, sometimes bad things happen to good people. Stealth, what does that mean to you? Well, we did just shipwreck on this island. We were dead and now somehow are alive. But I feel as though it would be um, interesting if, as we are uh, coming up from the beach, uh, we are suddenly uh, waylaid by a few uh, ruffians uh, who are part of this island, see strangers in fine clothing and think we're something to... Uh, to uh, um, like little vultures trying to pick the bo uh, pick the bones clean. I mean, can we help that we look this good? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. And Athena, what what would you say to this? So one more time. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna say that we didn't exactly like crash onto the island. I'm going to say that maybe there there's like a couple of smaller islands that are a little bit farther out um, and that we uh, like ended up on one of those and are still like a decent distance from the main island. Okay. Both are, are great ideas. Uh, I, I really liked uh, Stell's idea for this one. So I'm going to give the... Uh, opening to Stell for the next time, the next scene, but. Thank you kindly. I, I think we should go up here. What do you oh, think what? that, th think that? What do you think is that way? Well, it Not certainly saying. isn't the beach. <gasps> we need, okay, you know, I'm like, I'm just like, we're all drenched and look at my hair and I, I really would like to find like a like a blow dryer. That would be oh. perfection. Yeah. You, Stell, you seem like the hard-working blue-collar sort. Find my wife a blow dryer. Does... <laughs> Excuse you. I will not be betching anything for anybody, least of all your raggedy ass. If you'll excuse me. Well, that's rude. <laughs> So, so I was assuming that the person that's standing right next to you, who is family, by the way, is some common helper. And since when do family not do favors for each other, right? I mean, There's a difference between just... doing a favor and being treated as though I am somehow an underling, which I will not ah. abide. Well, Understood. okay, but I don't really see the difference. Well. Picked a real I... gem there, didn't you, Basil? Hey! Oh. My darling Athena is the finest diamond in all the world. Yes. Did somebody say diamond? Right then, some people <laughs> run up on us. That's the ruffians that you talked about. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like you have lots of money. <laughs> no, no, no. We um, just Hand it over. Hobos. <laughs> it's not as... And Athena just like backs up like as far uh, as she can, uh, just to like get to like she starts getting away from Basil. 
Hello. <laughs> yes, yes, I have an idea. I'll protect you, my darling. And I'll grab Chase and Stell and then put them in front of me <laughs> and Athena. <laughs> Good. Why are you... All right, you guys. I want everything that you've got. Any watches, any anything. <laughs> we are literally covered from head to toe in seawater. We pulled ourselves from the ocean. Why do you think we have anything that you could possibly want? That guy's wearing a suit, and that guy just talks like he's made of money. So I'm pretty sure that y'all got something. Come on. Well, it's for <laughs> us, not for you. You just, just go taking like, other people's things. Uh, one of their like big, heavy, kind of like tough guys, kind of like saunters around and starts just being like, pat, like grabbing people's pockets and like patting them down. Like, hey, okay, that was allowed to touch me there. I think I want to. I think I want to introduce the twist. Ooh, as they are patting down Stell, <laughs> they realize that Stell is packing. Like one of those little, like mini, like gold, like revolver type deals. Very nice. And uh, when they when they realize what they're touching, they look up at Stell, and Stell just sort of looks at them. <laughs> and they start to reach for their pocket. Now Sorry, we're gonna lady. continue to. Uh, uh, buddy. <laughs> are we gonna continue to have a problem? Or are you going to skedaddle now? I think we should do what, what they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the right idea. We gotta go. <laughs> and like full like cartoon cloud of their silhouette, like but doing. <laughs> yes. Right. So yeah. No, no, no death here. But um, I think for the twist, we're also supposed to draw card and ask for interpretations oh yes oh, okay true. okay i, think I we apologize do yeah um, i think it's so, for all of all of them but yeah next time just, for next time just my bad um but yes oh right keep that in mind the twist for the next then uh you have to yeah. give the twist to Pick someone, someone then, random maki uh i'll give the twist to basil okay a twist for me Should be right. uh, uh all right well Obviously, they were terrified of our greater numbers and imposing countenance. Yes, that was almost certainly what deterred them from robbing us blind. Basil, you're so imposing. Thank you, my dear. Still, they, you're welcome. They seem terrified of you. What, what did you do? I don't think that's anything that you need to worry about just now. I think we should find our way into town and see if we can't do something about getting some dry clothes. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to keep standing here. This is gross and I smell like I smell like the ocean, but not in a fun way. Hmm. We definitely want my wife to smell in the fun way. <laughs> right? Okay, you know what? I'm sick of standing here. I'm just going to go. And she just like starts walking. Like, I like anybody but... was keeping me here, darling, except for those silly little boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tromp after. Um, this seems like a kind of nice end to the scene as we head into town. Mm -hmm. um, I have no idea who has the opener. <laughs> I do. Great. Uh, I was not able to print out the cards because I don't know if y'all knew this, but I was moving this weekend. My printer is packed away, and therefore I cannot print uh, any of the cards. Does somebody mind drawing a card for me? Oh, thank you so much, Randy. Which one is it? The Merchant. The Merchant. Let me find that, because I do have the PDF pulled up at least. So mm. I can use that. There it is. The Merchant. To be tempted by financial gain or worldly pleasures. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, Randy, do you have, or I, have I apologize, Chase, what does that card mean to you? I think that there, there's something like we're walking down, down the main street and we see a guy drop uh, sort of a key and the key is made of solid gold and we could steal that key and, and use it to go wherever he was heading or we can go off and continue finding a blow dryer i guess but 
All right, a possible golden key. And what about you, Basil? What does the merchant stir up in you? Um, I would say that uh, as we're heading into the middle of town, a crack opens in the road and a little letter pokes up and it reads, you know, you shouldn't bank on anything going the right way because it will often go wrong. Um, and it's a, it's a letter from death that something is happening. We don't know what. Uh, well, I'm afraid I cannot pass up on the chance to get a letter from death in cell. So I think we'll go with, uh, with Basil's interpretation. So the four of us are meandering down the, down the path and uh, we seem to be making some headway into making it towards town. Lovely windswept grass and some trees and brush along the way. And then suddenly, just before our very eyes, a crack in the ground opens up. And floating up from it, on a breeze, is a letter. A postcard, if you will. And I believe it lands in Stell's hand. Well, would you look at that? What? What have oh, you got? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? And she like gets down on her knees and like peeks in the crowd. Does somebody live down there? Oh, Hello. You're not going to find anybody who's... down there, my dear. No. What? Nobody lives what? in the earth, my dear. Well, plenty of things live what in the earth. What if it's like an underground? How? Where? Where did the thing come from? Still, I believe. Uh, this letter says, and they repeat what it is that Basil so kindly set up for us. Oh, it's from death. Good. What? Death seems to uh, think we should be careful moving forward. There, there's something strange about the word bank. You can't yeah. bank. Oh, ooh, I love banks. I bet you I um, could find the bank, no problem. I have like a nose for it. <laughs> you have a nose for money? I would never have guessed. She does. Yeah, no, really it's does. true though. It's true. I know it sounds weird, but it like every time. If you like put me in a room and you with like a bunch of people and you're like, which one is the wealthiest? Like nine times out of 10, I can totally tell you. <laughs> uh, that looks like it's a skill you've been polishing for sure. <laughs> well, on the flip side, nine times out of ten, it's me. <laughs> I know it's the best, Basil. Uh, it is. Really is. So, yeah, we Stel, should... Stel has an inappropriate thought, tucks that away for later, <laughs> and then, you know, continues continues on. Anyways, uh, then I guess we should be prepared if... Uh, I don't think that you're necessarily wrong, Chase. That that wording is quite specific and slightly leading. Hmm. It's that way. The thing's oh my that God. way. We used to call I her promise. Toucan Sam. <laughs> Follow that nose. <laughs> oh, Basil, I know this lovely nose. He got it for me for my birthday last year. It's the best they had on offer. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> Every Eddie. time I think there can be a bottom to this, it just goes <laughs> deeper. Follow me, let's go. Mm, I, 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 Head to the bank. I follow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, arm in arm. All right. Who has the twist, uh, by the way? I don't I do. remember. I, Basil do. okay. uh, I think that as we're walking along, every now and again, you'll see still stop to like, like pick one of like you know how like a lot of like really nice ocean ocean like side islands and stuff have like pretty little like flowers like wildflowers every now and again you'll see them stop to pick a, a wildflower and give it a smell and kind of make a strange face and kind of toss it aside and then pick up another flower and give it a smell and another strange face it's just so weird well what are you doing what's that well i was just trying to figure out how alive i am well, i figured oh. the the best way to figure that out is to smell a flower. I don't know. Something different. Uh, huh. Oh, well, I... I, I, I grabbed I, one of the ones you threw. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that I'm me. Like, I can touch, right? I can touch. And, like, 
she reaches out to try and touch Stell's shoulder to like well, poke at it. I can feel you too. I don't think it's necessarily the ability that that per se. It's just, I mean, we've been touched by death. Who knows what strange things might have happened to us in, the, in the returning? Very oh, good I, point. I, we should test some of this out. Uh, and I think as we enter into town and get towards the town square, Basil will, um, it should be noted for the audience, we have been given some wonderful powers from death. Uh, and some of them can be explained now. Uh, Basil will look to the first person he sees, which is a, uh, a stout looking uh, young man with a uh, police uniform. And he looks at him and kind of blinking above his head is the word marlin like a fish like a marlin marlin and basil thinks to himself oh. well i guess that man will die involved with a marlin involved with a marlin well i don't know if what kind of oh, well, involvement he'll have <laughs> that's inappropriate I do declare well don't tell him that he might think it's just fun so so i, I have a question you guys what how what are we supposed to do when we get to oh. the bank oh kill someone kill somebody we just yeah kill people that's oh no we no there's a person we're supposed to kill right like the, the, the right person I, yes i do not think that we are killing them we are simply gathering up their soul in the moments uh, oh. of, in the moments prior to their death, I, I don't think we have a personal hand in killing them. Just just making sure their soul is cleanly dispatched. Yes, I, not... I do not believe that Chase Boxmuller, if anyone heard that I was the person killing people, they would not believe it. It would be all over the news. And he stops and has like deer in headlights. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just refer to yourself in the third person? Oh, I do it all the time. Chase Boxmuller is uh, the most amazing broadcaster. There you go. I have that's a... Oh. oh, well, that's exciting. Good for you. It, it, it's part of my radio persona. Great. Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, and so... I, uh, I guess I'll use the twist. Why not? Let's throw some twistiness in as we get to the bank. Um... I am going to draw a card here. The sun. Secrets are revealed. Mysteries are solved. So, um, Chase, why don't you give me your pitch on the sun? All right. So we get to the bank. We have no idea what's going on. We also don't really know what our powers are. Um, at that moment, like, when... Uh, let's say, yeah, Chase, uh, when I'm opening the door, someone comes up, bump, bumps into me, and I touch them, and I, I see sort of, uh, for a brief moment, um, something about uh, the Ferris wheel. And that means, uh, and so I think, I, I turn to everyone and I go, you guys, I think, I think the, the, the thing happened I think we're supposed to follow that person. I think there's something happening over at, at the fairground. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, Athena, how about you give us your pitch on the sun? Secrets are revealed. Mysteries are solved. Okay. Um, secrets are revealed. Mysteries are solved. Okay. So I'm going to say that as um, we all uh get to the bank um athena and basil are actually stopped um by a couple of people who uh who seem to recognize them uh and start say i'd start and, and like stell and, and chase like keep going but they're like kind of being you know accosted by these people who claim to know them um and uh have seen them before okay um, I think I'm going to go with Athena's pitch on the on running into some people. So uh, this, I think, will allow us to split the party, as it were. Um, 
we will get waylaid, but I think let's let Stell and Chase um, run on ahead and run with their scene um, mm -hmm. so that they can By the way, I, I forgot out. to give my, my opening token. Um, I took it. To, did I give it to you? Okay, great. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've got it. Um, okay, so. Yeah, and I wonder, Max, I wonder, like, because I did that to split us yeah. so that we could, you know, maybe play NPCs or something. Like, we don't no, have I to do very good. the people right. that came to no, us. Yeah, yeah. So we can just Great. focus on that. So Stell yeah. and Chase, we are with you on your journey to the bank. Hey, I think now's a good time to, to, to get away from the two lovebirds. Lovebird is like a very strong and kind of disgusting term for whatever it is they are. I certainly wouldn't call them that. Uh, she may get offended by the phrase, but I don't think it's completely wrong. Uh, you know, by a gold digger is a gold digger <laughs> is a gold digger. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I wish I was rich enough to pull some. <laughs> I mean, who knows what kind of inheritance we have received? You might be. You're right. All of that counts on us finding this this person who's supposed to die and we have to do it before the time they're supposed to do it hmm all right well to the bank is is just here let's go ahead and head on in see what we can see although i have to admit i don't know how wild i am about the fact that it's apparent we can look or touch it uh look at somebody or touch them and see the way they're going to pass i don't know how i feel about that I it is peculiar indeed. R regardless, we get into this bank. Some, what was the rest of the letter? Do you still have it? I, I do still have the postcard. I just do not remember what it says because yeah. I was not the one who created it. <laughs> it was, don't bank on anything because everything because something will always go wrong. Something to that. So... Okay. I mean, we're going to the bank, but let's just assume that whatever is about to happen here might not be what we expect. Oh, okay. Um, how how should we try to find this person? Well, I believe that, the, that our abilities from death might come in handy. We can be subtle. I mean, we can be subtle. We don't stand out at all. We're living just like everybody else. It'll be fine. Okay. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> and we we walk on in. Um, I'll throw an idea at you. As you enter the bank, it's a very kind of small bank. Perdido Island is a small town. Um, hmm. There is a somewhat disheveled and clearly very like flustered young man behind the teller's counter. Um, he's like very sweaty and kind of like, uh. Um, and you kind of see him there and he's... He's like clearly like weird about you. Like he doesn't know you. Uh, and he's like, hey, 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 hey. Um, yes. Can, can I help you? I mean, we was, we are new to town. We was just having a look around. And obviously if we're going to spend any significant time on this island, we might have to open up an account or two. And we'd love to hear a little bit more about your bank. Um... Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's the um, only bank in town that I know of. I mean, and... it makes sense. You're not a very big island. The fact that you have a bank at all is kind of impressive. Um, yeah, I have. Um, yeah, I've um, been paying a lot of attention to this bank. Uh, I take great uh, care with it, and. Um, uh, I know that it's open <laughs> from 8 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. I lean over to Stella and I go, he doesn't seem to be the brightest. Uh, and there's a there's a there's an older woman that was in front of y'all in line and just kind of leans over and goes, darlings, we also have a magic shop and a flower shop and a fireworks emporium. This town has everything. Why would you ever need to go somewhere else? Well, this is, uh, that is a fairly affluent list of uh, things to have in, on a on on a cozy little island such as this. Thank but you. But I don't believe, 
I caught either of your wonderful names. Um, oh, I'm Lizelle. Lizelle. Lizelle Kostowski. And Stell oh. extends their hand to Lizelle to shake it. Um, and I think when they touch Stell, uh, they get a flash of a, um, a fish bone. Um, and they kind of wince and uh, sort of incline their head. Well, it is very low. Oh, I'm sorry. Are my sorry? Your hands, your hands are totally fine. You're, you're all right. I was just thinking how very lovely it must be to have all of this fresh air and, 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 and good, good, good sea breeze blowing by. I'm a, lived here my whole life, always healthy as a horse. You look very hearty. And and you, thank you, Mr. Teller, sir. Oh, um, yeah. My name's my name's Glenn. Um, my name, I'm Glenn, and um, you know, I I, I work here, and uh, you seem Glenn's to have a very nervous straight. disposition, young man. Oh, not all the time. So you said you wanted to open an account? Yes. I have a question, actually, like. Uh, yeah. A question for all of y'all out of here. So I have, I'm holding the death one, right? So mm -hmm. um, I guess what I don't quite get um, is if I if I trigger it, does that before they find the person, like does that mean it fails, or am I just saying, hey, here's the here's the card, pitch me, like the death, like that's what I'm a little yep. fuzzy on. What do y'all hmm. think? I think that if you're going to play the death card, um, let's see, you would, my guess is um, we would pitch you a death. Um, and then it's sort of up to us if we catch it in time. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my guess. All right. Well, I'm going to, since we're at the bank and there are people in it and all, and you know, all and whatnot, I'm going to pull a card and I have pulled, ooh, uh, the eye of the storm to remain calm amidst chaos. So uh, I am going to first ask what that means from Stell. So I think what happens is as they are getting acquainted with the teller and with Lizelle, there is a bit of a commotion up towards the front of the bank as um, a really disgruntled, younger looking man bursts through the door. He's very distraught. He wants, he, he's having some sort of problem, some sort of financial uh, issue or something like that. He bursts through the door and, you know, it's basically a stick up. It, he's about to, uh, perform some kind of, you know, small scale robbery. Um, and okay. uh, as far as like staying calm in the face of that chaos, it's like Stell and Chase were already prepared for things to go wrong. So they're the only ones who kind of keep their cool. I imagine Lizelle is also a cool cat. Okay. And uh, uh, Basil? <clears throat> or um, I was also going to uh, pitch a robbery. Uh, so I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll throw it. Uh, I'll okay. try and mix something up a little bit and not do, I'll do something different. Um, uh, Glenn, the teller, um, begins having like a real weird kind of panic attack. And he's like trying to get you to come closer. And he's like, I swear to God, that Lizette lady, like, she's lived in this town for like a hundred years and I'm pretty sure like she's died like twice. And he's like freaking out. Cause he's like, I've seen that lady and I'm pretty sure I saw her get buried, but like, I don't know why she's back. <laughs> um, and so he's like having like a, a freaking like nervous breakdown. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And, and Lizette is like, she's cool as a cucumber. She's like, I have many siblings. <laughs> And that's her okay. calm in the face of the storm. I, you know, I can see a death more coming out of Stell's scenario. So I think I'm going to give that to them and um, and have that play out as to whether they figure out who dies or not. I have the death chip. 
cool. All right. Um, so a young man bursts through the door. They are waving around what's probably like, you know, some sort of shotgun uh, that they probably use for like hunting or something like that. And they're, they're, uh, I don't think their hands on the trigger or they're not even really holding it like they're about to shoot the place up. Like they, they kind of have it at their side and they, they like, you know, come in and, and they're, they've just got this real heavy, you know, look on their face. Like I've done gov given too much of my life to this Island to be bankrupted by some full banker. Um, and, uh, it's like, so everybody better get on the ground. Cause this is a stick up. <laughs> and, Glenn, yeah, like drop to the ground immediately. He's like, okay, <laughs> get down. This is a robbery. Yeah, cool, totally fine, man. <laughs> Chase, you, Chase, and you, and you. Chase looks at Stella and is like, we, 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 we gotta do it. I'm, give, I'm giving you an order. Do it now. All right, do it so now. We gotta at I... least look like we, we, we belong here. I Glenn, it, Glenn, Glenn give me the money right now. Now, okay, why are we? Okay. Let's not do anything foolish here. Nobody has to get hurt. And Glenn's just like throwing <laughs> money over the counter. He's like, "Yeah, totally, man. It's, it's nice to see you again. Welcome back to the bank." <laughs> like, now, what kind of financial hardships have you come under? Just calm down. I, I am calm. I am calmly asking you to give me all of the bank's money. Yeah, no, I'm doing it. I'm just, I'm just like, I, I need you to take a few breaths there, Glenn. Are you going to have a panic attack and die? Oh, working on it. And like the, the, the robber like clearly knows Glenn and is like, Glenn, calm down. Don't yeah. make me have to call your mama. Oh man. Uh, Troy, don't call my mom. Troy <laughs> and Glenn. Okay. Why Look. are you using my name, Glenn? Front of these Everybody people. knows you here, man. Yeah, uh, this is not a very big island. I think you probably should have thought that through before trying to rob your own bank. Yeah, I, I do a lot of thinking. Thank you very much. With I what? Just, I need, I just need the money. Okay, like just, just give it to me. Who are you? We're just trying to de-escalate the situation. There is no situation. This is all. This is all fine. No, no big deal. You know, just normal Wednesday in in Perdido Island. All right, all right. That's enough. I I think that's good. Thanks, Glenn. I'm done now. You'll never <laughs> see me again. And starts like trying to Definitely back see out. You again. <laughs> uh, oh, we're neighbors. Man. Pulls their gun. <laughs> is literally backing uh, out of Del, the bank. Del pulls their gun on on Troy. And he it just like immediately drops the money and it's just like. <laughs> <gasps> well, that's wait, not like, how no. I expected that wait, to go. Wait. No, no, wait, no, and then, <laughs> that is, no, and like picks up the money instead, and is like, it is like I don't, I don't know why I did that. Um, I, yeah, uh, that's I have a gun, I have a gun too, person that I don't know. Are you brave enough to get actually me now. use it? Yeah, it keeps like trying to back out of the fucking bank and is like almost there. It's like gri like uh, Chase, reaching Chase, behind. Chase is behind, like moving to the side to get behind uh, Troy, so that when Troy goes to touch the door, Chase is there, just with his hand out. <laughs> and um, and what happens? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say that um. Troy was so startled by because uh, it's just forgotten that that another person was even there. Um, and when uh, uh, Chase reaches out and uh, touches him, he whips around and uh, basically loses his balance <laughs> and um, and falls backwards and like whacks the back of his head on like um, like the door handle. So it's, and just like, poof, and like fall and just like sinks to the floor, like with the money, like bag still in his hand. That, that wasn't on purpose. Don't, and still, still runs over to like kind of hold, like wrap their, their arms around Troy and kind of pull, pull him up. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine, Troy. Everything's just gonna be fine. 
Stell the doctor, everything is okay. Stell just shoots. <laughs> Chase a look like everything is not gonna be okay. This guy's gonna die. Oh, I mean he's yeah, dead. Like he's dead. Yeah. Like that was an instant, like yeah. instant death. So I don't know. Are we like, supposed to be touching them or yeah. something when they die? Yeah. yeah. No, well, it says you have to touch them within a few minutes. Of, within okay. a few minutes. Yeah. yeah. So right. so that's you know, Chase touched uh Troy. So uh, I think you reaped that soul. <laughs> yes. By accident. We don't even I, know if that was the right one. So, but, so, and at so, that moment, I think like uh I think Athena and Basil will finally make it in to <laughs> to the bank. <gasps> Oh my gosh, did we miss the first one? Oh, oh. What a bummer. Oh, I really You look very it. dead. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Basil, so, honey, don't stand too near him. You might get, I don't know, no. like death germs. I don't I know. Don't I just want you to be healthy. <laughs> I don't want anything of that he's got, <laughs> namely a hole in the back of his head. <laughs> uh. Someone should probably call someone to get this body. Yes, do you have a proper undertaker oh. on the island? You do seem to have everything else. And Glenn's like, yeah, yeah, we got, we got an undertaker. I mean, we've done our job. I don't think we need to stay here anymore, right? Like, this is done. There What's is a job? certain level of decency that mm -hmm. is required, a delicacy. Who are you people? Well, you don't need to worry about who we are, Glenn. Uh, we are just here to to help facilitate a certain type of of service, and we are going to stay out of your way. We're going to make sure that this body is is properly taken care of, and uh, you can just go about your day. Here's your money. No one Have said we had to do anything about the body, Stell. It's We're not doing exactly. anything about the body. We're just making sure that it doesn't get trampled upon by people walking in and out of the door like you nearly did. Okay, well, I'm going to go back outside because this is not this is not what I signed up for, you know? Like we we're almost we're late for the meeting at the amusement park and this is like there's nothing oh. we can do, you know? Basil, I did Basil tell them that. there's nothing we can do. Like Oh no. He's very dead. Just move him to the side and we should get on with our day. Tata, you there, nervous boy. Take care of this, will you? Yeah, sure, sure. I I I'll 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 take care of every ever ever everything. Oh, good sport. All right. Yeah. And, and I yeah, think that, yeah. that, that that's good? a great end <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've Congratulations, okay. everybody. Glenn, Glenn. We've killed our first member of Perdido Island. Traumatized for life, and we still, and we have no idea if it was the right person. Yeah. Was it the right person or not? Well, I mean, I think, how are you supposed to know? I mean, I think you can assume that it was. Think, like, I how think, would it not be the right person? I think it's I think probably that right it was the right person. Today. Yeah, I think, I think the right person died. Because we can't kill. We just, we it was going to happen. We just reap it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So. I suppose we could reap a soul from the wrong right. person, but that's a that we'll have to decide on that. I think today we killed. Right <laughs> yeah, I think this time we so, got it right. Yes. For next one, I have Max opening. Ah, yes. The twist and Oppie I have that. Yes. death. Great. So an opening. Um, I'll say just to to move us forward since we have a meeting to be at about the amusement park that we might be inheriting. Uh, let's see if we can. Go to that meeting. Um, and I am pulling the traitor to be deceive or betray. Mm. So, Aki, why don't you tell me what you think of the traitor? I think there is someone among our group who is working a different angle on this whole thing. And ever since death brought them back, has had their own little plan for exactly how we're going to be handling this inheritance and may just actually have the power and ability to do so. Okay. And uh, Randy, how about you pitch me on your opening of betrayal? Yeah. I think that that's very true. But what they don't realize, so whoever this person is, um, it, it is it has their own ideas for what we're gonna do with this money, but what they don't realize is that when we get 
to the place, some of the, like, whoever we were supposed to be meeting there is already gone. They've already mm -hmm. decided that we weren't showing up. We're late. <laughs> They're taking the inheritance back to wherever they need to go. Oh. All right. This can set us on a quest. Sure. Randy, take the opening. Um, all right. So I'll set the scene. The box mullers, after having killed uh, poor Troy in the bank, <laughs> or reaping poor Troy's soul um, in the bank, have decided to go on to their meeting at the amusement park that they have inherited from Uncle Hopewell. Uh, they arrive at the amusement park, uh, feet a little tired out and a little drier for having done the walk and gotten some summer sun. As they go into the main offices though, they realize there's nobody there at all. There's a dusty outline of where a man was sitting in a chair and a perfect dusty outline on the desk of where some papers <laughs> may have been. But that person is gone with everything they came to this island to get. Um, wow, how do you think that happened? That's amazing. They had to have been sitting there for quite some time. Yeah, I mean, goodness. Although, to be honest with you, this whole place looks like it hasn't been dusted in like a million years. No, it's no, no, gross. No, 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 no. And, and, and Chase just starts rummaging through stuff on the table. He's like, no, there's got to be something here. I did not come all the way to this stupid island. I Yes. I you absolutely did, my friend. <laughs> Come to Perdido, they say. Jo joint custody of a stupid Ferris wheel, they say. <laughs> no, it? I. isn't it the whole place? Did we really just come here for a no. Ferris wheel? I thought it was the entire amusement park. Also, also, Basil, Basil, I think I'm going to need you to carry me. I can't get my Louboutins dirty. My darling... I would love to carry you, but you know I've got such weak little spaghetti arms. <laughs> oh, I... Um... I'll carry the Louboutins. Here, give me your shoes. <gasps> Do none of you care that what we've been waiting for this whole time is, is not here? Well, oh, I, I it's do, gotta be I just... somewhere. I find it perplexing that we have somehow managed to miss our appointment. I mean, we were not, we were not taken up in the town that long how much time has passed since we died and came back well, that is a very good question my friend is there I don't know. how do we find out what day oh my phone Dazzle, doesn't like, work anymore the sun and it's like it's around midday that doesn't <gasps> tell us anything does anybody have a calendar Dazzle, can anybody find Dazzle, a calendar? you're so clever Oh, saints preserve me. Lord help me. Oh, a calendar? You want a calendar? Um, and yeah. somehow uh, Athena has managed to keep a hold of her of her purse the entire time, even like in the water, and like pulls out like a very waterlogged but like super fat like uh like day planner. And, of course she and has it's a like, day planner. Well, well, when we left, it was the 17th. Maybe we should ask somebody what day it is. I mean, hello? Excuse me? Anybody? Um, hi? Hello? Hi? Hello? Hello? Oh, Excuse me? We need some help here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, stop talking, stop talking. And like <laughs> from from a, like an adjacent room, like a door, uh, you see like this old teetery looking, like kind of you cannot tell if they are a grandma or a grandpa, like they're just so deeply wrinkled <laughs> and covered with like with like scraggly white hair and like tiny little glasses that like actually no big glasses that make their eyes look like huge like very owly That's kind great. of like they've got to be like a three thousand years old and they okay. walk in and like what do you what what's all the screaming about okay <laughs> pause pause because i'm gonna ask for the twist here mm -hmm. um oh, yeah so great. uh you need to pull a card i am yeah uh, yeah. 
Ooh, yikes. The void. <gasps> uh, to lose all that you value. These cards aren't magic. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Amanda. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm I've been, I'm in too many games with the, where the cards are magic. I can't do it. Follows us around. It does follow so, us around. So um, let's see. I'm gonna get a uh, a pitch from uh, Randy. All right. Uh, and and can you just say what the the text on it is just one more time? Sorry. Sure. Uh, it's uh oh crap. I just put it back. Oh, uh, the void to lose right. all that you value. Right. So uh. I think we were this this person who's coming in. They are uh, one of the bookkeepers for what was this giant fairs like fairground, um, and the person who we were supposed to be meeting was here years ago, um, and they're going to tell us that. Uh, the last of the box Muellers died like 30 years ago. <laughs> and, and, okay. uh, You're going to ghost story so, our ass. <laughs> well, because of that, everything that we were supposed to be getting is now like owned by the state. It's just like dilapidated. It's, it's run down. It has no worth. <laughs> okay. And uh, Aki. Man, Gosh, I was, I, I'm not going to lie. I was going to pitch something very, very similar <laughs> that we've been dead for decades and didn't know it. Um, to oh lose my goodness. all its okay. value. Okay. So on the flip side of that, we haven't been dead for that long. Uh, but the person who was previously running this place was a con artist and only waited as long as he was legally obligated to. And the moment that... Like we gave them a window of being even five minutes late. They picked up all our shit and booked it. I'm going to go yep. with that one. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to, I didn't want, like, it's been 25 years. I, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give that twist uh, token to Aki and um, say that we had, there was some clever uh timekeeping going on um so go for it now now what what is it that y'all are why why is all this yelling happening oh oh i i don't recognize any of y'all who, who who are who are you i'm chase box mueller and you're the only person in this room right now who probably has any sense where's where's bobby Bobby was only here just like 30 minutes ago. Oh, my. Oh. Who pray tell, my friend, is Bobby? Uh, Bobby Bobby was, he said that he had had an appointment that he had to keep up until mm -hmm. exactly 12 noon. And what time is it? Oh, I can't see anything with these glasses. Oh, it seems to be that it's 12.15. No, he booked it out of here real, real fast. Oh, oh well. What, he's supposed to meet us. It's us. It's us. It's us. Right. Oh, oh, huh. Well, oh dear. Give yeah. me just, just a moment. Uh, I, I can't. I don't see him anywhere. I, I certainly don't. He. Oh, hey, well, he where does he? Where does Bobby oh, live? Yes. Oh, where Bobby does he doesn't live? live on the island. Bob, Bobby, Bobby's not been. Never lived on the island. He's just been running the finances and and helping me with the bookkeeping. And my eyes aren't so good anymore, so I can't read the numbers so good. But he was always always very very punctual. So he left with the deeds to everything. Basil, I can't. I, oh I can't. Darling, I mean, come. you do not find them on the <laughs> desk or anything. There is. There were documents Basil, here. That There's not. It. Oh my gosh. That's all I know how to do. I mean, he was always so yeah. helpful and so Old. deeply interested and invested in this amusement park. He always said that it was non prime real estate and that if anybody ever had the opportunity to sell it, they'd make the nice penny. And and he seemed to know his numbers and fixings real, real good, though like I could only ever barely read them. Listen, listen, old lady. You tell I'm me where we can find this Bobby because he's just hoodwinked and robbed us of our inheritance. Um he speaks yes. sense. Are you the box mullers? Yes. Oh, we're oh, all the box mullers. Who else? Athena and Basil and Chase 
and Stell. Well, Bobby was a box mother too. I've oh. never heard of a Bobby Box what? Mueller. Well, that's what he Who's called this? himself, Bobby Box Mueller. He'd say all the time he was keeping take, taking care of this place for his family. We're Maybe. being hoodwinked. Sounds like a right con. All right. Oh, Bobby was too, was a total sweet. He would never con hurt a fly nor con nobody. And I know a good, honest person when I see him. I mean, look at this lovely young lady here. She seems like the most honest person I've done ever seen. Athena Me? is a paradox. See, I'm an excellent judge of character. Leans over to Stell yes. and goes, "This this lady's glasses don't help her at all." Not her glasses, <laughs> not her sense of, not her sense of anything. This is this is a disaster. Well, this is like a dead end. I think you, you all, like I. Well, I mean, I do recall that Bobby would sometimes make his way over to the tavern now and then to have a, a pint or two. He he really really liked the fish and chips. We make excellent fish and chips here. Uh, but if you really are curious as to where he might be, uh, he usually was around those parts quite often. To the tavern. Oh, a, a tavern? Oh, it's just probably like Out stickiness the <laughs> on the floor and like, oh, Basil. My dear, we will find a place to buy you a new pair of shoes on the way. Uh, I have the death coin. Oh. Ah. And I think that um, I'm not going to use it in this scene. <laughs> You're not gonna have the, the poor I, old person yeah, just crash. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to because she's delightful and lovely, and I want to keep her. So well, I now want to kill. Bobby we got to get another message. Yeah. So so yeah, I was team. about Eventually. to. So the next scene because I have the the next opener. So oh, the opener. Yeah. So uh, and I, sorry, yeah. uh, Aki, you have both the twist and the death now, right? I do. I, I'm okay. willing to relinquish the death to someone in order to keep me from having too much power to see. Go ahead, don't move around. Power. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, now I'm seeing this is a little dangerous, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Terrified. Basil. Basil, maybe you should take it. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I trust them entirely. Uh, All right. So we have a new goal we'll where talk. I think we're we're at least moving for a moment towards the the tavern but bobby Wood. i have uh drawn the mini hands card it has oh. hands um to work together or to combine forces so i would love to hear uh a pitch from basil let's start there um all right to work together or to combine forces so um as we are arriving at the tavern, we hear a wild and kind of uh, bombastic ruckus happening inside the tavern. And as we approach to open the door, um, a man is thrown out the window next to us. And he starts running down the street and you hear from the inside like, and don't you never come back, Bobby, you bastard. And, bastard. and we are like, well, that is very helpful. <laughs> uh, and so we have been aided by the town. Got it. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's just, to, to make it uh, more helpful, then a bunch of people come running out and start chasing him down. So we decide to join the, uh, the fray. Okay. Oh, that makes, okay. Okay. Um, let's go with... I, I did the last scene with Stell. So Athena, let's let's. What what would you say for the mini hands? Tell me this. To work together again, or to combine forces. If you if you want to take a moment to think that over, we actually have a couple of messages in a bottle from oh. our chat. Oh yes. So sure. if everybody has a glass to raise or a cup of water or a bottle of water or whatever, uh, first from it's a me Bondo. Glenn takes a holiday and touches his face while he reads your mail. <laughs> Which if you have never ever seen Max play his other version of Glenn. Oh right, God, they're all named Glenn. <laughs> you like that? You like that name. Um, and I then do. so thank you for your message in a bottle. <laughs> and then we have another message from the Beast. Ugh. 
The beast oh, keeps visiting us at the most opportune times. What's this? Even the afterlife has shifted to a gig economy? <laughs> Thank you very much for your message in a bottle. That one's good. I like that. Yeah, it has even the, the yeah. afterlife shifted to a gig economy. It's so real. <laughs> so Please, I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Was that it, Aki? May I? Yep, that was it. Okay. Thank you so much for your so messages. Yes, thank you. Um, so I am going to say that as they walk in, they all walk into the tavern, they also accidentally let in a street cat. Um, and immediately the whole place is like, is like, goes into like a tizzy that's like, ah, bluebells in here again. Um, and you just see like, all of these chairs move like and people are getting up and like pans are trying to like catch this cat who's just like losing its shit in inside the bar <laughs> and they're all trying to help like catch this cat as we come in oh that is that is i i like the image of that but i really also like the image of an entire tavern chasing a, a, a guy running down the street so <laughs> uh i kind of go with basil so so uh Basil, you have the next opener. Great. Uh, you want to set the scene for us, Chase? Yeah, go for yeah. it. Yeah, so uh, we're about to walk in the door. Like, uh, I think a, a Basil's hand is on the, 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 the doorknob, I guess. And right as that happens, just through the window, an entire body. And, and Bobby's just like thrown out. He's And, and the guy, the, the tavern owner, and don't you ever come back here, Bobby. We've told you so many times, stop what you're doing. <laughs> well, <laughs> we don't want to know what that is all about. <laughs> I'll never stop. I'm addicted to it and I love it and you can't stop me. You ain't my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's canon. I love it. So that, that's the voice. And and uh, and, and uh, just as like Bobby's about to get up, someone else who's behind Bobby just like throws an entire like chunk of lettuce, just like flies and hits him in the face. Yeah, we don't like the likes of you, no way around here. <laughs> yeah, you could take this lettuce and you could shove it up your kisses. Oh, you want to say that to my face, huh? And, and just door yeah. flies open. Basil sort of like pushed a little bit. Uh, Oh. And just the guy who just got like started talking trash to Bobby starts chasing him. And from there, like his friends come running out. The tavern owner runs out and we're like, hey, guy, I'm pretty sure that's Bobby. We we should keep up with him. Oh, that seems like a good idea to me. Let's go. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I, Athena, have I, you ever, ever run before in your whole life? <laughs> uh, are you comfortable I, with the idea of moving quickly? <laughs> I don't run. You better get, you better. I'll, Basil, Basil, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait here. I don't, you know that I don't run. You know that it's very taxing Stel for Stell walks me. over <laughs> to Athena and like fireman hauls her uh, onto their shoulders and Whoa. just starts hey! booking it. Towards <laughs> <her>. <laughs> Hey, I did not agree to this! Basil! Basil's like, trying to like <laughs> catch up and save her. Basil! <laughs> My dearest, I'm so sorry. And so, she like fake cries and then kind of looks to see if for a second to see if Basil's watching. <laughs> You're gonna have to grow up at some point, Missy. All right. So so we've come to 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 an alley and, and Bobby's got his back against the wall. And the entire. <laughs> Every one of you is a stinker face. I look at your face, it stinks. I tell you, you can't stop me from doing nothing. I love crime. Yeah. Del, Del, <laughs> turn me around. Turn me around. That, I, that's Del, very what's... rude. I apologize. I just didn't want to leave you behind, okay? We are family. We stick together. And Wait. I would like to oh. activate the twist that mm -hmm. as we all corner, uh, uh, corner Bobby in this alleyway. He recognizes one of us. I need to shoot. I keep forgetting. I need to draw. I need to draw. Never mind. Scratch oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Person. Somebody draw a card for me. I get so excited uh, about the twists. I'll do it. I get so excited. All right, tell me when to stop. Uh, stop. The throne to wield power over others. Oh. All right. Oh. Ah. 
Okay, I'd love to hear what you think of that Basil of the throne. Um, all right. Uh, so we've got Bobby cornered in the alley, yeah. and um, and Athena is put down by Stell, and Bobby has all the papers right for the entire amusement park for the deed, and he's like, he's like, <laughs> he's like. You know you can't stop me. Everything's got to burn. I love it. I love it so much. He like pulls out a bunch of matches and lights them on his teeth. And he's like holding the papers. He's like, you can see a little amusement park go up in flames. And everyone's like, oh, no. And so he's going to burn the deed so nobody can own the park. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what do you think, Chase? What does the throne mean to you? And what's the text on it? Power to wield power over others. Oh, wield thank you. <laughs> power over others. <clears throat> I think so. Bobby is holding the deed. He he's got this lighter. I think I, I like that image. But right then he goes. He looks over at Basil, and he's like, "Ah, oh, I see you made it here, huh?" So him, he knows Basil personally. Mm. Um, uh, and, and he's like, I bet you thought I was just gonna let you take the D to this. <laughs> Not today, mister. <laughs> and then ba like- Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I have to go with the person who oh, basically stole yeah. my idea and actually used it. Um, yep, so, Chase, <laughs> so, so Chase, uh, you get the twist. Uh, you get the twist, and uh, as we as we corner as we corner Bobby and Stell sits down Athena, and we're all along with the rest of the town confronting Bobby. Bobby raises the the deeds to the to the amusement park over his head, and as he's beginning to to threaten everyone, uh, he's his eyes fall on Chase. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't I know it's you? No. I don't know who you are. Now I know it's you. Say, uh... Good morning. This is WKRP. Uh, good morning. I'm your host, Daddy? Chase. Good morning. Fox this mother. is WKRT. God damn it. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's you. You ain't never gotten that call sign right once in your life. You're the box mothers. And I got your amusement park right here. Wait, um, excuse me, um, Mr. Bobby? Yeah? Hi, I'm Athena. Hiya. Hi, how are you? It seems like you're in just a little bit of, a, of, of some trouble right now. Um, why are these people chasing you? Because I love to burn things, lady. Oh, And well, I'll tell you, bars go up real good. <laughs> but but why would you why would you burn that? If you're a box muller, doesn't that mean you're part of the group that gets to 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 own the amusement park? Bobby Boxmuller looks out for only one person and one person only. And that ain't Bobby Boxmuller, it's the fire god! <laughs> hey! It's so funny because I know everybody in the Boxmuller family and I ain't never heard of no Bobby. Certainly never heard about no Rick, uh, Robert, no Dick. Nobody with a name even close to yours. So who are you really? And Bobby is kind of going to, like, click the lighter closed. <gasps> be like, if you do that one more time, <laughs> like, Chase just, like, tries to look intimidating is not at all. <laughs> Who am I, you wants to know? All right. You get this, uh, you get this crowd off my back. And maybe I'll tell you, you know, uh, Bobby, Bobby wants a safe place. Bobby wants guarantees. Uh, okay. And I think, um, Athena's was, you know, has moved back off to the side and just kind of looks down, uh, takes off her, like, cardigan shell, pulls down the shirt 
because the crowd is mostly men. I'm assuming drinking <laughs> at a tavern in the middle of the day. Um, and yeah, and is and just looks at them all, and it's just like gentlemen. And it's like full text Avery. I know, like, and I'm gonna trigger. I, I know, <laughs> I'm gonna trigger the death, the death now. Because it's just too good. <laughs> can we trigger the death if we don't have a card? Wait, like I don't. Um, well, I we guess? can, we I can have, have a, a card pop up. Yeah, yeah, no, go for um, it. You can trigger it. Yeah. Uh, then I'll I'll go ahead uh, now. Oh, who should who should draw? For, yeah, I'll draw. Can you, can you, for Rocky. Okay, thanks. Uh, what does it say? What is it? This is the reversed, reversed hourglass. Thing. To uh, display unexpected mercy. Yep. Interesting. What does that mean to you, Athena? To display unexpected mercy. The reversed hourglass. Oh, okay. To unexpected mercy. Um. Oh, in re in regards to death, though, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think that what Athena was trying to do, um, it, it ends up working because, um, to show, to get them off, uh, Bobby's back, uh, by getting the people out of the way, um, and, uh, kind of what happens after that death wise, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Am I supposed to pitch the actual death? That's what I don't. Uh, yeah, you can. I think you I can think if you, you want to. Do it anyway you want. Yeah. Um, like you could uh, even yeah, I... you could even in that moment a postcard could arrive essentially. Like, <laughs> oh, um, gosh, I'm. Wow, I've just like completely blanked. Uh, I am. Give so yourself sorry. a moment. No, give yourself a moment to think about it. And Basil, you can tell me what the reversed hourglass means to you. Um, right, a, a, a bit of mercy. Yeah. Okay, so Athena's plan obviously is effective. Um, and when I had said that we were getting like full Tex Avery eyes, like jaws on floor, like eyeballs going a wooga, there's like one guy who that is like a very literal truth for, like his jaw literally falls off and his eyes just kind of like plunk out. And <laughs> in, and like, and as that's happening, floating down from the sky is a little postcard that just says, sometimes you die once, sometimes you die twice. You never know which one's mean or nice. Um, and uh, and that is what happens is, and you're seeing this guy and his eyes have poked out and his jaw's falling off and he's still clearly alive, but like his like body is falling apart in weird ass ways. Okay. Uh, what about your postcard, Athena? Oh, I have to have a postcard too. Uh, oh, sorry, you don't have to, but if you wanted to finish your pitch. No, I was gonna. I was just going to introduce uh, some additional uh, chaos. Um, I'm gonna say that the uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that um, Bluebell was just one member of a gang of street cats that uh, wander around Perdido Island, Yay, cat you know, Island, like killing rats and all of that stuff. So backing up against the wall is like where Bobby was, is right near where they have their like home base where like they, you know, they live, they have their kittens and stuff like that. So you just get, uh, uh, I guess I really don't know how that's mercy. I was going to say one of the cats was named. I mean, that's fine. That, that I don't works. Know. That be, that can, that it doesn't have yeah. to be like literal. It can be esoteric. Yeah, literally one of the cats is definitely named Mercy. And when Bobby sees uh, them, it's like, says, like, it's like, Mercy, <laughs> I haven't seen you in a dog's age. A You're a cat. cat. <laughs> I You're love a cat, I love your idea, but I do think we need one more postcard. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We only mm -hmm. had one death, and that's just one death, not enough. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give the death, uh, the death coin to 
uh, Max. And I'm going to say that we don't necessarily have to have a death in this scene, but we now have a clue as to what the next death might possibly mm -hmm. be. Interestingly enough, the uh, opening for the next one is Max also. So he it's gets true. to open and close. Um, but let's, uh, we can finish this scene out organically for a moment. Oh, Athena yeah. so, has yeah, distracted so she... the, the male populace and one of them. No, has... she invites them back to the tavern for a drink on her, essentially. So boys, if you want to come with me, uh, drinks are free. And and Basil will just like, kind of like slyly slip her his like MX black card. <laughs> and she just like kisses him on the cheek. Thank you, baby. Oh, that like couple that. just gets stranger and stranger. Uh, it makes no sense. All right. Um, and so now Basil. Bobby's alone. He's like, get me where I'm going. Where are you going? Somewhere safe. You promised Bobby gets taken care of. Oh, we didn't make any such promises. And uh, Stell kind of just pats the, the pocket where their little mini revolver is. The only thing we're promising is that we won't kill you on the street right here, right now. The only person... Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's a coward. He gets it. <laughs> Bobby is a coward and yet had the audacity to try to seal the deeds to our land. What she said. What yeah. they said. They. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because none of yours was here. We showed so, up, what, maybe 10 minutes maybe late? Maybe 10? I mean, I don't know if you was here on time. I don't know if it was going to be an hour late, a day late. I left when's I left. You left fast, fast enough to leave dust behind, you little piece well, of scum. You would, too, if you wanted to burn down an entire amusement park and didn't want the people who owned it to get in the way. You're and a ba sad, like, strange little man. Now let's go. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a nice yeah. end to the scene. <laughs> Bobby's been carted off by the box mother clan while Athena distracts the entire male populace of a town. <laughs> um, I'm just imagining a lot of like boom, bada, boom, bada, boom coming from the tavern. And her being <laughs> yes, chewing, like really disappointed by the fact that nobody in there smells like money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, can, she can smell no money in that room. Um, no, okay. Uh, probably like Miles. This town's probably not that wealthy. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I think we probably we got the amusement park. We got all the big money in town. All right. Let's open a uh, scene. I have pulled. The oncoming storm. Ooh. Events spiral out of control or to be unable to control your circumstances. I love that for us. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Randy, why don't you pitch me on the oncoming storm? All right. So... We've just corralled Bobby somewhere, like some building that we can talk and get this deed back from him. But um, right as we do that, um, we get a message from death that's like basic. Uh, what, I, I'm not good with like being cryptic. <laughs> It says something about are you like it calls us dumb because someone just <laughs> because someone just died and their jaw like fell off and like they were weird and they're not dead dead. Um, are you guys not doing your job is basically what this this postcard says. Um, mm -hmm. And then it, it collects itself and is like. uh you, you need to handle any type of death, especially unnatural death that you mm -hmm. cause. That's what I think. Okay. And uh, Aki, why don't you pitch me on uh, the oncoming storm? So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a slightly liber literal interpretation of this card in that an actual storm is encroaching on the island. Like, 
very, very heavy black pendulous clouds have started to gather in on the horizon and are moving faster than anyone has ever seen. And it's there is an, an unnatural speed to these clouds. Um, nobody has ever seen a storm like it before, except for perhaps the box mullers. And um, it is threatening to be the worst storm the island has ever seen. And it is not the usual season for it. So no one is prepared. So it is okay. utter panic in, in the town. Um, well, just since I know we're getting towards the end of things, but I think, uh, Aki, uh, let's go with your call. So you can take the, um, the opening Thank chip. You. And, uh, so I'll set the scene. So as, uh, the box smallers are, uh, escorting Bobby to uh, be interrogated. They're walking past the tavern where we hear a lot of boom, bada, boom, bada, booms. Um, and and everyone's like hooting and hollering. And Athena kind of is like stepping out and being like, hey, Bobby, yeah, it's very nice to meet you all. And they're like, that lady's gonna be the best thing that ever happened to this island. <laughs> um, and uh, I and near as had they a heart of... attack because I think that was too much excitement for me. Woohoo! Where's my jaw and eyeballs? Uh, I could only see the floor. Um, and uh, and as they reach the literal like center point of town, like in the town square, in the middle of that is a little like item, and they look up, and on the horizon, on all sides of the island, are these like rolling dark clouds, storm clouds, like swooping in, and it is clearly unnatural clearly strange and magical but for some reason all of the box mullers are sort of like yeah all right here we go again and bobby is like shitting his pants um so that's where the scene will so, begin looks like somebody upset our boss oh my word oh Oh, oh, oh no, all of my, all of my, uh, my umbrella and my rain slicker and my really cute little rain hat. You remember that rain hat, Basil? It's your favorite one. We got to fix it. Hi. What can we do? It's, it's on the boat. What am I going to do? Yes, Chase, you should go get that rain hat again. I think it would be a wise course. That's not my oh, job. Not... I just got what my hair done, though. Well, my dearest. We should take this misanthropic pyromaniac and go find some cover before you know who comes and finds us again. And I think like as she like she has put her shoes back on, as she like steps, like something like gets stuck on the bottom of one of them. Um and she oh, oh what's oh and she pulls it up and uh and it's a postcard. Oh yeah. Um yeah. and it uh it says Live stream of homecoming basketball game halted by false step. Live stream of homecoming basketball game halted by false step. Yeah, it reads like a newspaper headline, like uh -huh. you know, like kind of like that. Yeah. And and uh, and uh, oh, um, it's another thingy. It's another thingy. And like she tries to give it to to Chase. Chase, it here. It's it's a thingy. Thanks. That's yeah. even more cryptic than the last one. Last Do they even know how to play life. basketball on this island? Rain is starting to like pelt down very hard, very sharp, very Home beating oh, us in the oh, head. Listen, homecoming is totally my thing. I was homecoming queen three times. <laughs> well, very, can you use that little you. nose of yours to smell out a basketball game, my dear? Um, excuse me, Mr. Bobby, sir. Um, yeah, what do you want? Um, you know, you could really stand to be a little bit friendlier. People would be nicer to you. Lady, I could sit down and be friendlier too, but you guys got me dragged all over this town and now I'm out in a storm. Well, that's because you stole from us, sir. But anyway, that's not what I wanted. Where's the local high school? The local high school? Uh, the local high school is just like two blocks down that way. You know, past the... Uh... Glenn's house and Troy's house. You know what they say about oh. Troy? He'll never die. Oh, <laughs> oh, Bobby, 
Bobby, I have terrible news. Yeah, what's that? Troy's mm -hmm. dead. Yeah, they were liars. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know, you've been sort of helpful. Um, but you need to come with us because you still have our papers. Unless you want to give us the papers and then you can go. Nah, I come with you to the homecoming game. Maybe I can burn down a basketball. <laughs> All right. Give me the papers and be gone with you. Uh, I don't know. You're lucky getting away with your laugh. When you put it like that, here you go. <laughs> and Bobby hands him oh. the papers and like And as skadoodles. Bobby's hand, <laughs> yeah, as Bobby's hand brushes Stell's, uh, Stell sees crashing waves and lightning and, um, uh, and, a, and a tree falling uh, from above. And they just sort of smile gleefully to themselves as Bobby runs away. <laughs> See you losers later. <laughs> no, you won't. Oh. Okay, to the high okay. school. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I just really want to get this Ta -ta. over with so I can get into a hotel and take a shower. All right. Fair enough. Let's go. Agreed. Um, so they're going to make their way to the, to the high school. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's homecoming. It, the, it's the big game. Uh, the big basketball game that is obviously happens every homecoming on Purdue Island. So the doors to the gymnasium are open. You can hear her chanting, you know, it's been and live everyone's like, <laughs> let's go Reapers, cut them down Reapers, <laughs> let's go Reapers. That's um, great. You have the twist. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ready? I was about, to, I was going to okay. ask for a card. Uh, so yeah, so we get to the game and there are people all in the stands. There's two teams playing. Obviously, the home team is the Reapers. But uh, I just picked the Comet as the Holy card. Crap. The Comet. Ay, to ay, receive ay. an ill omen to foreshadow great tragedy. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. So, what do, is the do twist? You think this game wants, do you think this game wants bad things to happen? I believe it might. Maybe. I, think, Maybe. I worry that might be the idea. All right. Oh, no. So, uh, for this first one, Stell, I would love to hear a pitch for a twist involving an ill omen or to foreshadow tragedy. Great tragedy. Oh, man. Oh. I think as they are approaching the school, um, and the the wind is blowing all around, and you know, lightning is is plummeting from the sky. Um, a a plume of lightning like leaps from the sky to the weather vane on the school in the shape of um the grim reaper's scythe um and yeah that's that's what i'm gonna say my twist is okay what that means yet we do not know yeah but that's essentially what i what i think happens as a twist okay basil can you can you give me uh, for an ill omen mm -hmm. um Let's see. Uh, as we enter the gymnasium, we realize that one entire side of the bleachers is dressed all as Grim Reapers. And right as we enter, um, the, uh, the home team goes to like shoot like a, a really impressive buzzer beater. And it just goes like, flying past the backboards like a million feet off is like way off and we just like walk in it happens everyone stops and looks directly at us <laughs> okay uh let's let's do that one uh I, <laughs> like i really like the grim reaper scythe that was really cool too but um i i, I like the idea that like we 
walked in and ruined the like this big buzzer beating shot. <laughs> so then what so can you set the scene for us then? Sure. Um so we're like running in to get out of the rain and we can hear like oh, let's go reapers, cut them down reapers, us reaping you sewing. Um and <laughs> we like burst in and like bust the doors open and it creates this giant racket right as we hear like and we see like a guy just like looking over at me like very distracted by the noise we make and like throws the ball and it's way off and it's just a mess and then all heads turn to us and there's like a like a hundred people dressed as the grim reaper staring at us yeah i have to i have to butt in really fast on that cheer because i think it's let's go read reapers cut them down reapers we reap what you sow yeah, that's better. Thank you. I think you. is <laughs> yeah. Better. Um, I appreciate it. Basil, <laughs> everyone welcome. stare. Basil, Basil, everyone's Ooh, staring yeah, at us. Yes. What should we do? Well, I'm sure they're staring for good reason. It's because we're so amazingly charming and oh, important. Uh, um, Hello, pedestrians. And, uh, um, and she just looks very panicked, and then all of a sudden, just like takes up like a stance and is just like <laughs> and just starts like doing a cheer and is just like i'm sexy i'm cute i'm popular to boot <laughs> and just like keeps like doing this cheer <laughs> i'm bitching great hair the boys i love to stare and just like totally just just can't <laughs> help herself because she doesn't know what to do i feel like i'm losing my mind and these two are insane hi <laughs> all right all right, we need to find whoever in here is going to die. Well, they right. all look the same, so that should be really easy. Yes, absolutely. Um, and uh, I think the easiest thing to do is just to run through the crowd as quickly as we can, <laughs> touch them all, reap all their souls, and then that way we're sure we've gotten the right one. But Basil, that's they're... a little excessive. Also, they're... Uh, a lot of children in this audience. I don't think it's appropriate for us to touch any of them. Okay. Also, we don't do the murder. It's going to happen anyway. <gasps> so that right. wouldn't even do anything, Basil. Right. Oh, yes, okay. Good. So, Hello. It, so said, we, we... it says it says live stream of homecoming of homecoming game halted by false step. Um. Well, who's 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 got their phone out and is filming the game? And she looks <laughs> around and like fucking everybody. Seventy-five <laughs> percent of the people have their phones out and are filming the game. Um, I, yeah, I'm. You have to do this very, very carefully, my dear. Uh, and Basil will like take you know walk with Athena and like casually sit in the bleachers. And be like, yes, the game. It should play. <laughs> like looking at phones to see if anybody appears to be. Well, uh, mister, you made me miss my screen. shot. Oh, well, apologies. What is your name, friend? Name's Marcus. Marcus. This was supposed to be my championship game would you call this a false step for you what okay no marcus not marcus <laughs> he's like <"That's> <laughs> no. <laughs> Ref, can, we get, can we get this thing started back and the ref's like yeah and just like <laughs> like hits the clock and he's like new quarters starting up Doing my level best to try and understand how basketball works. It's quarters, right? New quarter starts. Yes, <laughs> it is quarters. Hey, yes, yes, can yes, hey, Stel. yes. Hey, Stel. hey, you should come with me. Um, um, because you are also quite attractive. You should come sit with help, like sit with people with me, and just kind of like look and see and see what they're doing. Um, I'm sorry, and it, they'll probably be more did nice. Did you just to us. compliment me on my appearance? I love complimenting people. I really like your eyebrows, and I think your shoes would be nice in a different context. Uh, um, uh, thank you. 
I, I think there might be one more thing that we could possibly look into. A false step uh, implies many different things. Uh, not just a false step on the on the court, but false step on the stairs on their way up and down the bleachers, or 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 even choking on a a, a piece of popcorn or or hot dog. Like there are many interpretations to a false step. It's a it's 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 liable not just to be a player but anybody up in these bleachers could be very well uh the person recording themselves so so yeah i think that we should just be uh on the lookout for any sort of strange Wait. movement yes what what if we just pick someone like what do you mean just pick what if the, like all of these people are wearing the same thing good we just pick the person and we help them have an accident. Find <gasps> someone who's live streaming. Chase. Chase, you push them down the stairs. Stell, you shoot them when they get to the bottom. <laughs> Athena, you reap the soul. And I. That's a lot that we could get also get a rest. Death said someone. Basil, I'm that. too pretty for jail. But we, you are, my dear. Plus, they won't serve me organic food there. We make it I look like one. an accident. <laughs> I think we could probably do it with a little bit more finesse than what you're suggesting. But I think we and should do something. I am gonna I'm gonna play the the death token. Um, so as the game is going uh, on and we're uh, talking it out, um, so let's see what I've pulled. The island Ooh. to discover something long forgotten. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Aki, how about your pitch on the island? So I think that I think that as they're having this discussion, it occurs to all of them that oh goodness, um, it occurs to all of them that there is a is a particular thing that they were in part like that was imparted upon them before they were uh raised back from the dead about death being something that should be treated with some modicum of respect um and that it isn't just about facilitating deaths it is about making sure the people who died uh have some sense of peace before going um and I, I think that's my pitch. Okay. Um, Amanda, what's your pitch on the island on something long forgotten? So um, I'm going to say that um, since Perdido Island generally isn't super populated, um, they usually only have to use um, one side of their bleachers for home and away. Um, but in a championship game that they haven't been in in like 10 years um, to handle the flow, the overflow, they actually had to pull out, you know, like the bleachers in high school fold into the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so they actually had to like pull them out and like set them up. And there's just like, you know, so they're old. They haven't been used for very, very often. And there's just a lot of like stuff underneath and near it that could potentially be dangerous um, because they didn't really have enough time while they were prepping for the storm that they, oh no, there was the storm wasn't like. The storm is cold, brand right? new, but that's okay. Okay. Well, let's just say that then that they were all trying to prep and um, just kind of were running out of time. So they couldn't do all of the safety checks that maybe they would have done otherwise. Um, all right, uh, Amanda, I think we'll go with your, your call on having <laughs> precarious very, and very dangerous good. bleachers. Um, so, uh, we see, you know, obviously on the far side are all of the Grim Reapers and on the side next to us are all of the away team fans. Um, I don't know. Let's call them the. The sheep. Yeah, the sheep. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go with Buccaneers, but sure. Sheep. Yeah. They're the, they're the, 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 what's the that damn chops. island chain? Oh, like the lamb chops. chops. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. They're the, the Marblehead lamb chops. Um, and the poor folks of Marblehead, Massachusetts can deal with that. Um, 
so uh, <laughs> the Marblehead lamb chops are all sitting on the bleachers near us. And we can see, since we're sort of just like have been walking in, these bleachers like are very rickety and rusty. They haven't been used. Like all the things that should be holding them together are like not in good shape. There's spider webs. There's some very large spiders. Like everything seems to be like, hey, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> An electrical issue, perhaps? Oh, many some, electrical uh, issues. Some electrical problems? I mean, there's probably some lit dynamite underneath it. It's got everything. Yeah, maybe. who knows? <laughs> A family um, of rabid rats? So many things that could possibly yes. kill you. Oh, absolutely. Um, so as we are making our way, we see that we have realized that these bleachers are quite deadly and have been ignored for a long time. Um, <clears throat> that is our, our moment. Uh, okay. So oh. Basil's going to kind of walk up. Oh. Nothing, nothing. I, I, will, I, will, I will trigger it when the moment becomes appropriate. They couldn't get any other way. Great. Um, it should be noted. I think yeah. we only have about yeah, five yeah. minutes I, I left think, on our I think we. Tonight, so. I think I have the perfect wrap up for this scene. Um, but yes. Great. Okay. So as 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 everybody as we move towards these bleachers to sort of sit down on them, somebody at the end of the bleacher line decides to start a wave. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And I think you know right. what that means. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think I think one of them, like what I what I was hoping for, is I want somebody to um to like reach out, and there's just like a like a break in a, like a wire, um, and so they're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yay, as they get to the first person on the end, and just like makes contact. Uh, it's like this, it's like this, like maybe like forty-ish looking, um, like mom. Uh, who had been cheering very, for very their hard baby. for for the lamb um, chops? Hey, you can't think. <laughs> this is uh this yeah. You can't think about that part. It's just um, the and it's just like who and just is like <laughs> like has a phone in one hand that she was live streaming for her husband and you know blah, and like is electrocuted before uh, we can get yeah, to yeah. her. Unfortunately, yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know what that means. Oh. <laughs> so she's like, oh, like, oh, oh no, oh no, we missed it. Oh, oh what does that mean? Oh my gosh, well, do you, you think he's really gonna think we're doing a bad job? Well, is he gonna fire us? We have done a bad job, my dear. And I think that is a good place to pause or perhaps even end this adventure <laughs> for the night. Next week, we, I think that the, the, the four of us have to have a discussion about whether or not we are going to leave you all in suspense as to what happens with the Box Mother family or if we will continue their story next week. Um, both are, are, are oh, very yeah. sweet yeah. Uh, ideas. Um, if, if we, yes, Athena, Amanda. I was just going to say that um, if y if y'all watching want to weigh in, you should uh, let us know what you think. If we should keep oh, going with this good. or maybe try a different game. Tweet yeah, at us if and you let want us know. to see what happens with the box mullers who have botched their <laughs> second death. Uh, or if you like the idea that we just never know. Uh, please let us know by tweeting at us. You can tweet Saving Thrift Show. Um, you can tweet all of us. Our handles are uh, right beneath all of our names. Uh, but before we finish, um, I just wanted to let you know that um, on Monday, you can catch an all new episode of The Broken Pack, our officially sponsored D&D show on, um, on Monday at 8 p.m. Pacific right here on Saving Throw Show. A couple of our friends are in that show and we want to support them and we want to make sure Ooh. all of you support them too. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's go around the horn and tell everybody where they can find us. Uh, let's start with uh, Randy. Please let everybody know where they can find you. Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, Roller Raja, R-O-L-L-E-R-R-A-J-A. -A. Um, and yeah. <laughs> All right. And Max, where can they find you? You can find me online at uh, at Brosis Movies. That's B R O S I S Movies. And actually, one thing I do want to just promote really quickly. Go for um, it. This week uh, through Saturday, I'm helping um, produce some live streams and discussions for a group called the Black Girl Freedom Fund. 
who are hosting all sorts of amazing stuff uh, because they're starting this uh, is their inaugural Black Girl Freedom Week. Uh, and they're so focusing a lot of work about uh, ways to support uh, young Black girls and um, gender uh, non-binary folk in the world in America specifically. So they're streaming all sorts of stuff. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Twitter. Um, go find the streams and discussions and join in and check out what they're doing because it's amazing work. And I'm um, very happy to be helping them in any way I can. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Thank you. Yeah, they, are, oh, they are rad. Awesome, yeah. They are super, super rad. Oh, me. Hi. Yes. Um, so uh, I am Amanda Powers one more time. And you can generally find me on Twitter at Geek Powers, G-E-E-K Powers. <laughs> and hi, everybody. I am Aki, uh, the host kind of of the show. And you can find me over on Twitter and Instagram at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I. I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. And if you want to figure out what I'm doing every week, you can see, I have to stop because look, it's Indiana Jones and we have to go to Indiana Jones. No, it's not. I want me to hold him. He doesn't want me to hold him. He's like, hi, baby boy. boy. Hi, sweet baby. Uh, Look at the handsome boy. Oh, scrunk. Oh, Oh, no. If you want to know what I'm up to on Twitch, you can follow my Twitch uh, channel uh, to get my full schedule. And it's a Rago and also a, a Colin Kelly's arm. Hello. <laughs> he's going to kill me. Rago. No. No, he's going to kill me. Get him away. Look at the Satan cat. Oh. I'm just waiting for a third cat that you don't own to come <laughs> in. I'm like, wait. <laughs> Uh, but yes, you can follow my Twitch channel and see my entire schedule there on twitch.tv slash Shidariaki, S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for what was an absolutely chaotic and wonderful, fun, ridiculous, GM-less mess. Uh, remember that it does not matter if you have a GM, as long as you have a table full of friends and awesome players to create a story with. We will catch you next week, same time, same channel. Until then... Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.